Hello and a warm welcome to the TCS IT Wiz, a knowledge initiative started by Tata Consultancy Services in 1999. It is the biggest inter-school IT quiz in India for students from class 8 to 12. The quiz aims to build awareness and emphasize the importance of IT skills and enable students to look at technology from an innovative perspective. TCS IT Wiz has brought a paradigm shift in the world of quizzing. The quiz works as an alternative learning tool for students in an outside classroom environment. TCS IT Wiz this year is being held digitally across India to allow students to quiz from the comfort and safety of their homes. Hosting this quiz as always is a prolific quiz master. with an experience of over 2500 quiz shows to his credit and having hosted his shows across nine countries of the world he sure is a master of the craft he pursues he and his team have innovated to create the world's first integrated digital quizzing platform called quizital which you are now witnessing friends time to welcome on stage the one and only big brain Hello and a warm welcome to all of you yet again. You're with me Big Brain here today at another final or another quarter final of TCS IT Wiz 2020. The digital extravaganza this time across the length and breadth of this country, literally the length and breadth of this country. As we move from one quarter final to another, one state to another or one region to another, now we come to you from Jharkhand with four outs standing students it's a region that's always done well at this quiz they've always traditionally traveled to west bengal to do well there so west bengal will be happy jharkhand is quizzing separately this time around jharkhand will also be happy that they've got their own identity this time to take part in this quiz so four of them in the jharkhand final so to say but one will move from here into the semi final which is the nation's top 16 Currently in the top 64, we will take a look at who they are. But they're going to play on 22 questions common to them. 50 if they get it right, 50 if they get it wrong. It's quarterfinal number seven that we are picking action on the buzzers as they play. And of course, we've been comforted by them that they're playing this quiz alone from their rooms or in their comfort and safety of their homes. As we get started with the first frontier, but before we go there, a quick look. at our four finalists here today in this quarter final with us here today as the first of our quarter finalists is rishi divya kirti and he joins us from delhi public school in bokaro welcome to you rishi and nice to have you in this final as our second finalist here today joining us from the lovely city of jamshedpur from vidya bharati chinmaya vidyalaya is vinyas welcome to you vinyas and Congratulations for being in the nation's top 64 to all of you. As our third contestant from Narbeeram Hansraj English School also from the city of Jamshedpur is Saransh Surya. Welcome to you Saransh into our quarter final. And completing our lineup with a typically regular qualifying school. The different students tend to qualify from Loyola School at Jamshedpur. This time around is Prem Ansh Sinha. Welcome to you, Prem, into our quarterfinal. One among you four will qualify. For now, you know the rules. Time to pick action on the first frontier as we get into what we call digital readiness. Here it comes. On the first frontier of our battle here today, we're going to have questions from across the world. to see how ready you are for the digital world that you are part of let's begin with the first one on your screens now who is this extremely important innovator prem has gone for it in the buzzing sequence yes 
Yeah, he's Sal Khan of Khan Academy. Sal of Khan, Khan Academy, plus 50 to you, the first 50 going to Loyola School. As we go to the next one, on your screens now. A great man who said, schools sometimes kill creativity. He passed away this year, is this great educator. He was one of the sensational speakers on TED. Time lapsing for all of them as they miss out on this one. The answer that I was looking for is Sir Ken Robinson. Five seconds of time is all you have as we go on to the next one. Hands on the buzzer. Question coming up now. This is the old logo. Vinyas has gone for it. Yes, Vinyas. Your mic, please. Uh, it's Canon. Canon's old logo. In the olden days, it was called Quanon. And it almost looks like an Indian goddess, which it was in the logo of Canon. Beautifully answered, plus 50 to Vinyas. The next one on your screen, identify this partnership. Two important people from two different eras. Prem, go ahead, on your mic, please. He's yes. Baiju Ravindran and he's, he's Baiju Ravindran and he's Walt Disney. So it is uh, ba Baiju, Baiju, it is Baiju, answer is. One side is Baiju uh, Ravindran, the other side you're saying is? Uh, the other side, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I, my answer is Baiju. My answer is Baiju. I said the partnership. Uh, uh, the, the partnership is, uh, you is gave on the me cricket, another, Indian cricket jersey. In, Indian you gave cricket me jersey. another name. What was the name you said? Walt Disney. I said Walt Disney on the right is Walt Disney. So one of the sides. Baiju. Baiju and Walt Disney. Baiju and Walt Disney. Baiju and Walt Disney is your overall answer. Well, you're out of that age group, but the partnership is Disney Baijus. Give it to you. Give it to you on that for cracking Walt Disney as an image. Prem deserves that 50 pointer, not an easy personality at his age to know. As we go to the final one on your screen, identify the K in AMD's brand. Rishi has gone for it. Why the letter K? Uh, it, starts for, it stands for kryptonite. Kryptonite from the world yeah, of AMD. So, yeah, so likely they refer to Intel using kryptonite because uh, so, like Intel was like Superman who can, uh, uh, can only be harmed by kryptonite. So AMD's offering is known as kryptonite at that time to harm Intel. Kind of like so that. to tame Intel, they came out with the only one who could tame Superman, which is Kryptonite. Beautiful yeah. answer. Beautiful answer, Rishi. 50 to you. Early days in our final here today from Jamshedpur and Bokaro as our finalists stack up. But I'll tell you where they stand on the other side of this break. Stay with us. The health of any nation can be checked by the health of its citizens. India's millions had no way to connect to what they needed most. Quality healthcare. TCS provided just what the doctor ordered. A bridge. Not an ordinary bridge of steel and cement, a special bridge. Built with the magic of technology. An online and real-time, secured, on-the-cloud platform that acted as a bridge used not for vehicles but to save lives. This bridge was a transformative digital platform that connected those in need with the healthcare they needed. Over 120 million people have benefited from it. You might know this bridge as the Ayushman Bharat program. But at TCS, we have another name for it. The Bridge of Hope. TCS, part of your story. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. You're with me, Pig Brain, here today, watching TCS ITVs 2020, the Jharkhand quarterfinal. Three of them from Jamshedpur, one from Bokaro. Here's how the scorecard looks. On 100 is Prem at this point in time, on 50 apiece, Rishi and Vinyas, while I'm sure Sharansh will score very quickly. We move into the second frontier of our game here today. Time for us to play what we call borderless learning. Here it comes. In a world where increasingly borders are becoming meaningless, especially in a digital frontier, let's see 
how much of a borderless spectrum these youngsters have. Five questions, the scoring pattern is the same, the time limitation the same, five seconds. Starting with the first one, hands on the buzzer. Here we go. This is an extremely important innovation by a company which is better known in the technology space. But they started. Oh, Prem has gone for it. This is Stylus. This is Stylus. The creation of the Stylus will yeah. give you a minus 50. Not waiting for me to finish. They started their journey with pencils. And the answer is sharp technologies. They produced sharp pencils and therefore the sharp corporation. In a hurry, as we go to the next one, what does the three S's in Amazon S3 stand for if one of them is simple? What are the other two? Amazon S3 stands for simple dash dash. Nobody on the buzzer. Well, turned out to be a tough one for these four. The answer is simple storage service. That's how Amazon started their storage services. Here's the next one coming for you on your screen now. It's known as the 10,000 year clock. Which great individual is behind this experiment? Vinyas is giving it a go. A great man in the world of technology. Go ahead. Jeff Bezos. Plus 50 to you on Jeff Bezos. Vinyas gets a 50 and that takes him into the lead now. Interesting. Every question is putting a new leader up. Next one on your screen. Now, which operating system would you associate to Mr. Shuttleworth, a space tourist? Tough one. The flag behind is Africa. That's a clue. Which operating system would you associate to Mr. Shuttleworth? Nobody? Oh, Vinyas. Go ahead, Vinyas. Uh, it's Ubuntu. You want to take a shot on Ubuntu? It gives you a 50. Well played on Ubuntu. Takes him into the lead. The African space tourist and billionaire. Final one in this round coming up for our contestants with Vinyas now on 150 if my mental math is correct. On your screens, here's the next one. The person is what I want. NEA is what he does. GE is what he did. Who am I talking about? Time ticking, big boss from the world of IT. Nobody going for it. The answer that I was looking for is the amazing personality from General Electric, Jeff Emelt. At a point in time, he led G to phenomenal growth, is this great leader. Tough ones for the teams, and I'll take a look at the scores at the end of the next round. I think I'll give them a fair chance to battle for four more questions, and then we shall see the scores. For now, coming up next at TCS. Here it comes. I'm going to ask you four questions from the world of Tata Consultancy Services. 50 if you get it right, 50 if you get it wrong. Please note, you are allowed to hit the buzzer and stop me while I'm reading the question. But if you do so, I stop the moment you tell me you know the answer. All questions from the world of TCS and its associates, etc. So if you are ready... We are starting with question number one from the world of TCS. Tata Consultancy Services has a partner with a company that was founded by Thomas Alva Edison, which is believing in digital reimagination. Which great company are we talking about? Prem giving it a shot. Yes. General Electrics, because it's written, because uh, you said... Uh, Thomas L. Edison. Absolutely perfect. He'll get himself a 50. As we move on to the next question, hands on the buzzer. Question coming up for you from me. The TCS ICT Lab is a partnership with SMU, a famous university in which country? Vinyas. It's Singapore. Perfectly correct. 50 to you on that answer. That takes him to 200. He's playing well. Prem is on 100. 
Third one, here we go. TCS Japan announced something called ASTEP LUG, which is A S T E P L U G, for Japanese conglomerates. Among them, which one among these? Toyota or Mitsubishi? Tough one. Saranch is giving it a shot. It's Toyota. Oh, he took a half chance. Mitsubishi, the right answer. Well, Tata Mitsubishi is a well-known partnership. You should have thought of it from that perspective. As we go to the final one, hands on the buzzer. It's an app that was created by TCS Innovation Labs to provide easy tools for seafood growers, pond management, feed and water test management. How do we know this project? Vinyas is taking a shot. It's M. Krishi. Beauty, beauty. Oh, superbly played by him. He's now really beginning to play with a lot of authority. As we will take a look at the scores and see how much of that authoritative play has translated into scores for Vinyas. But all that on the other side of this very quick break. Stay with us. There's a race underway. That is like no other race the world has seen. It is a race to find a cure for a pandemic. A vaccine that will save lives. The faster you find it, the more lives you save. The entire scientific and pharmaceutical world is chasing the cure. And TCS is right there with them. TCS Research and Innovation Division leveraged artificial intelligence to help identify 31 molecules that potentially hold the key to a drug design for the virus. TCS has co-innovated with the global pharmaceutical, life sciences and healthcare world. Be it in genomics, remote patient monitoring, medical device engineering or personalized 3D implants. In the fight against the pandemic, TCS is leading drug discovery, regulatory compliance and pharma co-vigilance efforts. With technology helping medicine, the finish line to the cure cannot be far away. TCS, part of your story. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, you're with me, Pig Brain, watching a remarkable final from Jharkhand. As this quarterfinal has all four from the state of Jharkhand, three of them from the city of Jamshedpur, one from Bokaro. Well, all Steel City students, Bokaro is another extremely important Steel City for India. So they're all the steely nerved youngsters who are battling here. But we'll take a look at the scorecard. Leading this quiz with 250 is Vinyas. Right behind him on 100 is Prem. So that's a tight battle. Rishi is on 50. Saranj has a fair amount of work to do. As we move into the penultimate frontier of our game here today, it's time for analytics and insights. Here it comes. What you've got to do is take a look at the multiple visuals that you will get on your screen, analyze it, and give me an insight. The overall answer will fetch you 50 or will dock you off 50 in the five seconds of time that you have. So if you are ready, starting with the first one, coming up on your screens now. Identify a person, father of modern algebra, a very important crest on the other side. The overall answer will lead you to one gentleman. Uh, Prem is taking a it's, shot. It's, 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 it's algorithm. It's father of algebra was Al-Khwazarishi al, al and, uh, and I don't know what, what's on the right, but I know it, it, it will lead to algorithm. The answer according to you is algorithm. Well, yeah. I was actually looking for a person as an answer, the father of modern algebra, not father of algebra, which will take you to an Arab uh, origin. Minus 50 to you, Prem, in a hurry. And the answer is very simple. George Boole is what I was looking for. Boolean algebra is the father of algebraic equations in this world. Everyone breathing heavily and saying, oh my God, that was easier than we thought it was. As we go to the second one, stay calm, stay focused. On your screen, here's the next one. Two characters used differently by somebody. What are they? 
in the world of Microsoft. Rishi is going for it. Yes, Rishi, your mic, please. Uh, it's Windows XP. What are these? Uh, that that is paper clippy, and it used to help uh, users uh, in navigation in Windows XP, like finding. Just keep files. your keep your hand down. Keep your hand down. You're blocking your face. Yeah, go on. Yeah, that paper clip thing used to help users in finding files in Windows XP. Okay. And that and that I don't know that I think some game in Windows XP I guess. So what's your answer? What are these? It's Windows XP overall answer. Well, mine is 50 to you, Rishi. These are not only confined to Windows XP. These are called Office Assistants. They appear in Microsoft Office and not in Windows. So it doesn't matter. They do help you, but these are all collectively called Office Assistants with Microsoft. Tough one, wrong route that you took. As we go to the next one on your screens, identify a book. Here it comes. Hmm, tough one. A young lady, a chairman of a great conglomerate. The connection of the two, if you analyze, is your insight into a book. Nobody buzzing. The answer that I was looking for is a book called Bridgetal Nation where the world is getting bridged by digital and written by none less than the chairman of Tata Sons, Mr. N. Chandrasekharan, along with a co-author there. As we go to the final one, hands on the buzzer. Careful, it's not as easy as you think it is. On your screen, here it comes. Mm. Who's gone for it? Rishi has. Overall answer, Rishi. It's NVIDIA. Sorry? It's NVIDIA Quadro. That's their uh, graphics uh, card. And NVIDIA Tegra K1 is also their SOC. So overall answer is NVIDIA. Well played for a 50. He's got that absolutely right. He would have liked to get a few more. But at this point in time, I tell you what, this quiz is getting tighter and tighter. Because people are slowly scoring. Vinyas, though, on 250 is certainly looking good. Rishi is on 50, Prem is on 50, Saranj will have to do a lot of work. And we move into the final frontier of our battle. One of them will move into the top 16 of this country. The final frontier of this game coming up, multi-experience on your screen. We all live in a world of multitasking today and you are going to test what experiences you have on different domains of knowledge across this world. Multi-experience. The final four questions will determine who's going to go through. And everyone seems to have a chance because if they get a 200 each, then uh, they can challenge him. But Vinyas, with a very, very good lead, will know that he just needs one spare question to win this quiz. So I think he's going to play very cautiously because he's got a lead where someone's got to, well, considering that all of them are from Jharkhand, someone has to do a MS Dhoni to get a 250 from here. Well, that's really how the situation is. And will that be Prem or will that be Rishi? We quite don't know. But we're going to start with the first one. Hands on the buzzer. You're allowed to stop me when you think you know the answer. I'm going to read out the question. So it's only the audio that matters. So listen to me carefully. Starting with the first one. Hands on the buzzer. Here I go. We all commonly say gigabyte. It is 10 to the power how much? Gigabyte. Rishi is taking the shot. Go ahead, Rishi. It's 10, 10 to the power 3. Minus 50 to you. 10 to the power of 9 is a gigabyte. And he's got that wrong as we move to the next one. Hands on the buzzer. In all books, especially in the digital world, you'll find something called the ISBN number. What does it stand for? Prem has gone for it. Mike Prem, it's, Mike. It's, it's an international standard book number, ISBN. He's got that books. perfectly right. Yeah. And he's lining himself for the runner-up position. He may still not be able to challenge Vinyas because even if he gets the next two right, Vinyas seems to be looking good unless Vinyas contributes a negative somewhere. Next one, hands on the buzzer. 
Google Sky is a collaboration between NASA, Sloan, and which telescope? It's a unique tie-up. Which famous telescope? None of them going for it. The answer that I was looking for was the Hubble telescope. Final one, hands on the buzzer, while Vinyas is just keeping quiet and watching. He knows he's made it to the nation's top 16. He's got a smile on his face which says, well, I don't need to do anything stupid from here. And the Prem is putting up a fight. He's certainly going to finish runner-up, but he wants to get a few more in his kitty. Final one. Awarded by the Association for Computing Machinery, known as ACM. Prem. It's, it's Turing Prize. Turing Prize. Well, in a hurry, and that's been his story today, minus 50. Minus 50 to him. Rush of blood, really. The answer is the Grace Murray Hopper Award. And I was going to speak a lot more on that award given in the honor of a young 35-year-old lady as patience really prevails from the Jharkhand round today in the quarterfinal as Vinyas with 250 goes through to the semi-final winning this quiz as he represents Vidya Bharati Chinmaya Vidyalaya from Jamshedpur and takes the school into the semi-final. If I'm not wrong, for the first time in many years, his school is entering the top 16 of India. That's a huge achievement. Loyola and the others have been very consistent contenders from Jamshedpur and Jharkhand. But this time around, a new champion with a lot of calm and composure in Vinyas as he progresses to the next frontier. We will be back with you with yet another quarterfinal. Till then, from me, Pig Brain, from all of us at TCS ITWiz, you were watching an amazing quarterfinal from Jharkhand. Thank you for tuning in and goodbye.